What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. All sorts of changes going on there. I've had instant messaging, chat rooms, you know it, forums kicking off, doing good. If you watched this video tonight and you're still not convinced that there was some sort of uh, life on Mars at one point in time, whether you believe it exists now or it doesn't, um, let me show you some ruins. Now, this is the Molly camera. This camera is sits at the end of the rover arm, and it usually takes shots, um, real close-up shots of things. But every once in a while, they have the uh, rover arm is attached. It takes these upside-down shots of the world out there, and the camera, it seems like it's, to me, it comes back 10 times better than the, the actual mass cam up on top to give us the other color images. Now, if you were just skimming through NASA, you wouldn't see there's much in here. But let me go ahead and flip on over to my Photoshop where I've, where I've brought it in here. And there's so much to go over. This one's going to be a little bit longer video than I've done in a while, most likely, because there's a lot to go over. Um, and you got to think that, okay, this... A lot of people would say, all right, well, you know, water can do a lot of things um, to, to rocks and shape them in certain ways. But to get this much uh, debris in one area, you've really got to start, you got to start really thinking and saying, okay, something was there. So for the believers, I mean, I, already this is just most likely going to be more, uh, you know, more, you'll see. <laughs> Let's take a look at this thing together, starting with just over here. The, um, what we've got over here and then just moving right through this whole picture not the, up in here what seems to be like a, some sort of building a little foundation to something it's got blocks throughout it it's got 90 degree angles there is some amazing stuff in this image and uh, the molly shots have always done good for me I, I've, I've always had good good pulling stuff out of them um, you've got to you've got to take this grid and and get that out of your head because it kind of mixes up the whole picture now here's the different versions i've got of it that i've enhanced black and white of course this is one that's uh just been auto colored a little bit um i didn't match it and here's the original so the as you guys can see i don't all i do is just tweak these things just a little bit not i mean it's very little um and then you've got all the stuff up on the hill over here it turns colors uh this over here looks just staring at you like a skull, but that's the side. That's something, you know, I, I don't think that's a skull. Something that's just how it looks from here. But you're going to see all sorts of straight lines, in, interesting, like tubing, stuff like that. Uh, all right, so let's get started here and take a, take a look down here what we're talking about. This piece right here, um, look at the cut to it right how it's got this pattern in it down here you've got a, a sphere on top and then you've got a divot which looks like two one two three of these right here now if these are how the lines run through it so this isn't the lines in the picture that are doing this see how perfect this runs along it the uh it's it's beveled the whole piece is beveled and when you get over to this side it, it comes up there's more stuff inside of it um over here You've got very interesting pieces that just follow each other. This could have been done by water. It looks like it's next. Tell me that doesn't look like the head of something, um, some sort of statue or something along those lines. Let's see here. Let me just bring this through my, see if we can bring these out a little bit. See that right there? Let me get this in a little bit, a little bit bigger um, as we walk through it. So here's, it's like I said, this is a little bit blurred. I didn't sharpen this one um, like I had done to these. Because you see, when you sharpen them, it kind of, it, it can sharpen things up, and it can also take stuff away. There's a lot of art to it um, when you're finagling with these things. But as we go from here, there's just so much to go look at. <laughs> I tell you what, this is this is one of those ones that was like, oh, man, this whole image has anomalies in it. And a lot of people uh, on the Facebook pages have already been picking these things out and putting them up. I saw a couple of people have done things. I'm not sure where in the image, but this thing got picked up pretty quick. Now this is a really cool piece. Whatever this was, it seems to have uh, in the back end of it, piping coming out of it, something coming out of it, and coming into this piece right here. It looks like it's attached to the top piece. Let me see if we can't look at that a little bit more in black and white. And the whole boxy structure of it looks to be formed not by a natural process but more you know ancient ruins something that's been hammered it was destroyed somehow this ended up here i'm talking like puma punku how we would find it um in those type of ruins you know like the like what they still find in egypt where it's really bad you know and and the ruins are just thrown about everywhere 
All right, we've got 90 degree angles of what seem to be interesting pieces. Um, up here, we've got more just uh, perfect turns in some of these things. Check out the intricacy of this this stuff up here. Oop. It's all my, uh, all my, there we go. Call information and stuff up there. Here we go. We've got this piece right here that just looks like some sort of buried manufactured piece. Uh, it's just awkward color, a little bit different. Let me get back over here where we were, though. Um, all right, this piece right here. Let me see if I can get it in black and white for you. It, it almost looks like it's got a base to it, you know, almost a square base. It kind of has that feel to it, at least. And then it comes up almost like a little top of a little pyramid. I just thought that was kind of interesting how this piece was sitting next to this piece right here. See, when you just have one of these and didn't have the, the look like tubing or whatever this is, the rocks connecting it. Um, it wouldn't be a much, but here's where we were looking. I wanted to point out more. There's this uh, little peak up here. In the, let me get it a little bit bigger for everybody. Right in front of the peak, there is another squared off box with something in sitting on top of it. Here you've got some more squared off things. We're talking, look at this. One, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. All right. I mean, that's there for you to see. Look at the holes right here. This piece is a different color than the surrounding. One. This one little sphere looks like another hole and another hole, just like down here on that one piece we saw. I think I pointed it out already. Um, yeah, right here where this one had it, and these two doesn't seem to have something sitting in it. So very interesting, very strange stuff. Oh yeah, as I keep moving over, I keep thinking about some of the other ones that I can't forget. And this is one of the ones I should have put some of the red arrows on it. Here, another base stone, it looks like. This one over here seems to have some stuff carved into it. Amazing shot. To me, it is, at least. So this is one of the good ones. Now, as this is another one here, because this is a totally different color than surrounding. You've got a couple things coming up, and it's just kind of interesting as it comes over to here then you get these and when you get these like two things in a row where you've got like one little two little scoops there and they're almost like you know, swervy scoops and then over here you've got one two three and then it just seems to be kind of cut out pieced off together here there's more uh you know more symmetry to this block right here it looks like a base to it here you've got around the edging of it seems to be uh, beveled. Interesting stuff. I mean, the whole the whole area is. Wait till you see this right here. This one's even. It gets even cooler. All right, first check the shape of this. Look how this comes up and over like a dolphin's. You know, dolphin wood. You see like a dolphin statue with it. But whatever this piece is, it's got a sphere on it. Let me see if I can do this one in black and white and pull it out a little better. Um, it's just a very cool piece. Whatever it is, it almost looks like it was melted and then uh, put into place. Now, here we move into the stuff that looks like machinery. I mean, when you auto color and ma color match it, this looks like the insides of metal machinery. Look at here. This seems to be some sort of shaft that goes through it. It's got circles around it. It almost looks like a barbell, but you have these other pieces coming off of it. There's like sphere dome pieces on it. It almost looks like the stuff that, that out there I connect to my pool, you know, but I've got, you know, the tubing between the pool where one has a pump, one's got another thing, you know, it almost reminds me of that just looking at it. Here, another big rock just kind of sitting here. What, in the, you know, just very interesting. It's a weird color. Back here, you've got some strange indents. Look at this. It's kind of like one, two, and then it's got another sphere sitting on top of it coming down. There's a lot going on in this picture, guys. Something that this one doesn't get your, at least tickle your fancy a little bit and get you thinking. I, I don't know much that will. Um, because there's, like I said, there's just so much in one little area in this piece. And we didn't even really check. Okay, we didn't go down much into here and look at some of these blocks. These looked like some more foundation blocks down here. This piece, this was kind of cool. Just kind of how it comes up. And it's got that little lip in the front, whatever in the world that is. Here it's got some, just some interesting pieces into it. But as we keep moving along, watch this. Tell me that doesn't look buried or like it's cheaply photoshopped into it um, uh, 
it, it's definitely symmetrical. Look at that. It's got 90 degree angles. It looks like it would have stayed right there and came through it, but the dirt's up on top of it. Here you've got uh, the dirt that pulls up top of that, and you've got the, the under it a nice shadow. So you see that there. I mean, that's how many right angles are you going to have in one little area, especially uh, when you don't see that too much. In the Okay, here was the one, another one to look at. Check out this, how it runs through here, and then over here on the side, what well, looks like some sort of face or something, but I'm not even going to go there with the faces just because this is this one's got so much of the right angles and things. That's what I, I'm really interested in showing. And when also the 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 curves that are seem to be cut and perfect. These look like they belong somewhere at one time as, as blocks, the pieces of something down here as we get you know, down here in this area. Not so as much on the top, but a little bit is here. But see the indent in there? It's very interesting. It looks like it was a piece of something up here on the top. Um, this that looks like it was more connected and, and hidden under something. Who knows what, you know, say, uh, it could just been a block that's falling down and my imagination is going out there. That's what I love about this stuff. That's why I love to hear what you guys think. And if you uh, comment on it, download it, hit the website, check out the enhanced photos I put out there. Um, I've really been trying to work on the website for you guys. More just interesting, whatever it's sitting on, just strange looking, uh, symmetrical piece. That, that's what makes it really interesting to me. This stuff looks symmetrical. Okay, oh, I forgot about it over here. Check these little, uh, as it comes off. Well, you've got one thing here that's kind of cool. There is a, just like a little arc, and you see the light under it. And uh, some more spheres, another circle with a sphere in it. And it, it, that stuff looks to be worked to me. When you have two spheres sitting next to each other, the exact same size, and then there's another one that almost looks like the exact same size. It's pushed back a little bit, so the perspective's different, but it, it's uh, in a different color, and it's sitting on a round base. I mean, come on, what else do you need? Look at this little thing here. This looks like another base to something that's buried, and on top of it, there's some sort of spear. Um, Sphere, spear, sphere. All right, down here again, more symmetrical pieces. Check that out. It comes down, it tapers down to this piece. If you cut this thing right in the middle, you could be able to just flip it right on its side. Look at how this comes up, and you can even see the uh, the shadow of it. Look how interesting that is. This little piece comes up and over. Um, here it is in the, let's see, this is this, I guess this is this part of it over here. It comes up, a little blip in it, and it comes up here, that little piece. Here's the shadow of it, and it comes out over here, and it comes back down. That's hard to tell. Actually, the shadow is, that's an interesting shadow for this piece right here. Maybe I'm missing that. That's how this one looks much, you know, much more like this piece, but this looks like might have been some, uh, adding of some fake sand maybe here see how this is this piece right here has different resolution whatever the rest of this was maybe wasn't able to be seen by us who knows i i don't i think these are like the only ones that actually slip by sometimes where you could get some decent things out of it and you guys some of you guys might see this stuff say this is just a blurry mess i don't see anything and that's fine i understand that um some it I've been looking at this stuff for a really long time. Like I said, I'm 34 year old, year old now, and I've been looking at it when I was a child, and it was in a Richard Hoagland book or in the NASA books. Uh, I was lucky to grow up as a young child in Montgomery County, Maryland. We had access to all sorts of books and all sorts of. And we had computers before computers were a thing. It's very weird how the bottom of this got um, exposed like that. I'm not sure what would have done that. I have not seen that on any Molly shots that I've noticed before. And this is definitely a new thing for me. This is just my sloppy work as I was um, busting around it. See, but it's in each one. As you can see, it's in the actual original too, how it comes. It, it, it's like a halo effect there. Had to have been maybe from the sun or maybe something really shiny and bright there. But uh, pretty interesting. And then how these just kind of just thrown about everywhere just just junk uncle jake's junkyard welcome to include where uh we've got a little piece of everything for you i mean this whole area has just got spheres everywhere the whole backdrop itself just kind of it, it looks interesting to me okay now here we go 
these look very ornate to me, these three pieces right here. And when I say that, I say that, you know, I really believe that. Look how it's got the top pieces here, and you've got a bottom piece. It, it's very uh, distinct. It's a good word. If you've got one, two, three, let me make this the size of the whole thing. And I know it makes it blurry, but if you're looking at your phone, sometimes it's hard to see this stuff. So you've got one, two, three spheres, and then one, two, one, two, in that configuration. This doesn't change down here, the, the base piece of it. All right. And uh, the same thing as you go over here. It just kind of goes through it here as we keep on moving. The second piece, that's interesting there. It looks like a little skull. So much of this stuff can look like skulls and things that it won't, you know, that your eyes just matrix. But here you've got a piece that comes down. It's almost like a triangle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, this kind of cool. It looks like it was a piece of a ledge or something at one time. The whole area seems to just be uh, definitely water ran through here at one time and, and ran through here fast, I'd imagine. And this stuff was made by water, you know, I'd imagine that it, it really was here for a long time and, and really set and carved this stuff up. Which, look at this. This, this, is, this piece comes down here. It goes up and over this rock or whatever it is, almost like the pi a pipeline buried. It comes up and moves up around here. I don't know, guys. I'm ready for your I'm ready for your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. This one was just too cool not to put out. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. You know, Molly image hides amazing things, and sometimes those are the hardest thing to get. You know, the actual title, especially when you got this much stuff in here. I'm not trying to make you guys sick as I pawn through it here. As I pawn through, as I just kind of go through. Look at the color, the green, and that. Look at that. How metallic this looks, and when you really get in there, you used to see so many patterns to it. Hit pause in my videos. Just step back sometimes. Sometimes just step back. I've been staring at this. Before I made this video, I stared at it for two nights wanting to make the video. And uh, the more and more you see, like the piece in the background, or this piece here that seems to be, um, you know, symmetrical. and has that piece that goes out like that off the side. And it just so happens to be right next to this really cool I, all I can say is dolphin looking thing and uh, the bottom of it has to be it has like a square type like a rectangle base drawer thing to it here you've got circles and I know that I'm going to get all sorts of stuff back from you guys you guys are definitely my uh, you see what I don't see and I love to hear what you see I see what I see you see what you see that's how we do it here you, you saw it when I started the video um, what do you guys think comment below let me know what your uh, your ideas are. This looks like a base to something. It sure does. I mean, and it looks like whatever structure was on or is buried below it could be. If Let's get a really uh, aspect of the whole thing one more time just to kind of put it into perspective. But if you check out the website, you're going to get a, uh, you're definitely going to get some enhanced pictures from this. I mean, this thing's just gorgeous. The different color of the pictures over there. And let me show you, like I said, exactly how it came from NASA. Here how it's come from NASA. Just a very little bit of work. Auto color can get you there. Um, here's where it gets you. Auto color gets you right to there, basically. So it takes those mountains right out. See that? All right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. It is Friday night. If you're watching this another night, hope you're having a good one that night. Much love. What's up in the sky .com. Come sign up for an account. It's free. It allows you into the forums. You get an instant messaging thing. Once you sign up, you get a whole bunch of new features that just pop up on the website for you. So... Comment below, hit like, share it on Facebook. That stuff really does help. I get so many videos from you. I'm thinking about making a, uh, a you know, just a little video where I read some of the letters to you guys. Because some of them are really, uh, they, they, people have mind-blowing ideas. So, all right, guys, much love. Hope you're having a good one to you and yours. I actually made a 20-minute video. It's been a while. Peace.